Hello guys, what's up? This is Techon. Today I'm going to show a simple way to automate your Facebook posts based on a Google spreadsheet file and using a Google folder, Google Drive folder. Uh, you, we're going to actually use a system called Zapier.com. So if you don't have your, an account already, you can go ahead and type Zapier.com and create a new account. After create an account, you can see all your zaps on a dash on your dashboard and i'm going to show you your these systems these automated systems that are very interesting you can have a lot of automations here here for a lot of tasks that you usually do so i just create a draft zap here as you can see i'm going to use to automate this page that I have that's a meme page uh, that's called Brasileiro Tem Que Ser Estudado. So actually what, what we're going to do here in Zapier, how it works, you have two steps here, two simple steps. When this happens, do this. So this is very sim simple, just like the that I FTT, if this do that, then do that. This is a trigger. This first action is a trigger. So we can set anything we want, a new email, Google Calendar, Google Docs, and a lot of other apps. So we can have a lot of types of triggers. Then when this action happens, what, then we are going to select what Zap needs to do. So, um, Today we're going to update a Facebook page, but you have a lot of other options you can see here. Uh, I'm going to select here, choose an app. If I choose Gmail, I can set for email, Slack, Google Calendar, and you can you have a lot of other options. You can, as you can see, Facebook lead ads and conversions, but some options are not available. They are only for premium users. But today I'm going to show you how we can use a simple way to automate Facebook page posts and it's totally free. So after you select Facebook pages here, we're going to select the action, what, what we're going to do. But first, let's set our trigger first. What, what we need today, guys, today we're going to have on a Google Drive folder, a Google spreadsheet. And then I want to get a row from that spreadsheet and update as a Facebook page post. post. And I'm going to be updating photos with descriptions to my Facebook page. So how we can do that? It's very simple. I'm going to show first, but first we need content. How we can set content? Here I have some really organized ways to set content. And I'm going to suggest you that you download this extension, Save to Google Drive. This is very, very useful if you want to get some pictures from Google or for, from Facebook and just save that pictures on your Google Drive folder so you can use it and reuse it later. So how we're going to do that? A way that I have to organize my my post is to have a new spreadsheet. Here, I have a folder named Contents Memes. I'm gonna be saving some pictures here, and then I have this feed that is going, I'm gonna use as a CSV file so we can update our feeds. So if you click, if I click, click here, I'm gonna show you the structure that I'm using, but you can use, you can set the structure as you, you wish. Here, I'm going to show you how I use it to organize these this files on my this posts on my page. So, as you can see here, we have a simple, very simple spreadsheet file. I have a description, and you are all, and and the image itself. Uh, we are going not we are not be using some of these fields today. We're just using the description and your URL. Then later I'm gonna explain uh, why I have some these other feeds
because I, I use some other kind of, of automations to even automate this content that goes updated here. And later, if you if you wish, if you would like to, I can make a new tutorial showing how to do this. But today, what what we're going to do? Just update when updates one row on my spreadsheet. I'm going to send it to a Facebook page, and this is very simple to do with Zapier. Here we have our folder. I'm going to take uh, just pause this recording now and get some pictures on this folder, right, guys? And I'm gonna even show you how I'm going to get this picture. So let me first show you how I can get one picture very easy. I'm gonna be catching some pictures from Facebook. So we're going to get a page that is similar to our page, like this one. No, no. This, this page is a MEMS page, so I'm going to be updating my MEMS pages, so it's going to be very useful to get some pictures. You can select, you can even choose uh, some very pictures with a lot of engagement, so we can update to our pages. Let's choose, let's suppose I want to choose this picture. Then you have your extension here. Then if you have already your extension, what you need to do is click with right button and then click save image to Google Drive. As you can see, it saves our image with this name, title image. So we can, you can set a, a title uh, here because we can actually later use uh, this title as our, as our description. So let's rename it and say something funny or set just emoticon just like this okay then I'm gonna change this folder change the destination folder and just select that folder contains let's see Contents MEMS this folder that we're going to use. And just oh actually I need to select the folder where uh, this folder is so Facebook auto, auto posts and then just select our folder contains MEMS select okay now it's saving to our destination folder here. So let's go ahead and save it again. And then we're gonna see this file. Here on our folder to content menus. Right and close it. Let me update the folder. Now, as you can see, our picture is already here. Now let's go. Let me go ahead and just save a lot of pictures here, very quick. But I'm gonna pa pause for. Okay, guys. Now I have some pictures here on this folder. Pictures that I leave with the title untitled image will not have a, t a description. Will be just photos, uh, posts, right? So next step is to get this this pages photos links so how we can do that just click with the right button and click get shareable link so let's see let's say we're going to post this picture let's go to our spreadsheet and just paste this url here But actually, guys, this, this link, we can use. We can use this link as 
just like this because it, it won't work. Uh, this shareable link is just a preview on Google Folder. So one, one nice tip you can use is just replace that address with this drive.com you just go ahead and put this you see an ID just like this let's just replace it here and leave the the ID of our picture okay you can just test to see if it's going to work if you click it and just display the image like this with no Google previews then you can use this picture. This is actually a very useful tip if you are planning to use these pictures on a blog that you have um, using a Google Drive folder as a content manager. So, next step. Here I'm gonna put a description just so you can see that it works. Guys, later on the next tutorial, maybe I'll, I'm going to show you how you can automate this to automatically fill all, all your Google Spirit files. So this I'm going to leave for our next tutorial. Here, usually I have like this. I have one, one feed and one post spreadsheet. You can see two feeds here. On this feed, I'm going to put all the all those files with descriptions and URL and when I post I'm gonna post this feed to our Facebook page post I use this just for me to organize my files and actually I can show you later a way to automate automatically post anytime you want all the all this da data that is here so let's very simple say that we're going to update this this that data on our posts. So we just select copy and paste it here. See guys, then I'm gonna get just another image. Can be this one. Get shareable link. You can do the same thing. And this one I'm gonna post it without a without a description so remember you always need to get this this address right so it won't work okay so guys we're going to be updating this posts that we posted here on our Facebook page and the page I'm gonna use it for this is this one this page right here so as you can see I don't have any posts right now right now last post was yesterday so just go ahead and make our zapier work actually guys option we're going to do is google sheets you just when this happens you select google sheets then we're going to choose a trigger i'm gonna show you i'm gonna use for this new or update spreadsheet row chain drive this option is better just select this one click continue now our spreadsheet as you see, my, the spreadsheet I'm going to be using is this one, Feed Brasileiro Tem Que Ser Estudado, so you can paste it here. Oh, sorry, this is our Google Sheets account. Then we're going to select our drive, you can just select my Google Drive or leave empty. And then you're, we're going fi to find our spreadsheet. So. We can see here already, if you want, you can place here, free Brasileiro Tem Que Ser Worksheet, we're going to select post. This, is, this post is just the, the, this worksheet that I have here, post. Okay. 
leave this like this, any column, and click continue. You can actually test and review your data, but I know that it's already set. I'm, I'm just going to skip this test. Then we're going to do our Facebook page post already. Just choose Facebook pages. If you not, if you are not authorized, it's going to ask to authorize. <laughs> then select the event. Our event is going to be a page photo. Okay? Then continue. Then we're going to select our accounts, Facebook pages from Diogo. It's my pages. And then select the page we want to, to select. Then I'm going to use this one. O brasileiro tem que ser estudado pela NASA. Okay? Then after select our Facebook page, you're going to select our photo. That it's the URL download that you can see here. Right? Then description. We're going to select our description that you can see here. Then let's go ahead and you can even click test and review to test our automation. Okay, now that we see that it's success su successful, we can go ahead and check our page for updates. Go ahead, click our page. Just refresh our page. Well, you can see that we just posted and now our automation is ready. How cool is that, guys? Just now published by Zapier, okay? So every time you update a row, you don't even go to, to your Facebook page. It's going to be updated automatically on our Facebook page post. So. This is it for today guys, I hope you did enjoy this video and I'm planning to make other videos showing other options, other possibilities with this kind, this kind of automation I have already running from for my other pages some automations that even uh, go and catch one link every day here everything automatically automatically so I don't even go to my Facebook page to keep it updated and get the higher engagements because you know that Facebook al algorithms is require requires you to update constantly your page so this is very nice trick if you miss one day uh, one page post you don't get your page compromised. So this is it guys, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. This helps a lot my channel. And see you around.